Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Um, today we will be discussing about eva how to evaluate integral exponents. Okay? And this is just a fancy way of saying integral, the term integral. It's just a fancy way of um, saying we have whole numbers. Okay? We have whole numbers. So meaning our exponents here are all whole numbers. Okay? So, um, I will not remind you about the loss of exponent, but what I will be doing is, um, we will be, re I will be reminding you it as we go through our examples, okay? And let's proceed with our example number one. How do we evaluate this kind of given? Say we have um, 2z times z raised to 6, and we have an exponent outside, say we have 3. Okay, this is read as 2z times z raised to 6 raised to 3. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do here is we need to evaluate first the operation inside the parentheses. Okay, and in evaluating um, e um operation inside the parentheses, we have multiplication. If we have variables that have the same, ba if we have given that have the same basis, we add the exponent. So what do I mean by that? If I have, um say, a raised to 6 times a cubed, the answer would be a raised to 18. I know why 18, sorry, it's not addition only, it's 9. Okay? Add the exponent, 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. In this case, we will have z raised to 7 because this is by default 1 and 1 plus 6 is raised to 7. And then that's how you multiply letters to letters. Now, the next thing you need to do is you multiply numbers to numbers. Remember, by default, any variable that has no numerical coefficient will have 1 beside it. Say I have um, h. Okay, h will have a 1 beside it automatically, okay, by default. So, we will have 2 times 1, and 2 times 1 is equals to 2. So, we have evaluated the, um, the numbers, uh, uh, the terms inside, the operation inside. The next thing that we need to do is we need to evaluate this cube outside. So, in this cube outside, um, what we need to do is we just simply need to distribute them to our number and to our letter. But when it comes to the numbers, what ha what would happen would be different when it comes to the letters. In the numbers, you just simply have to evaluate. And what is 2 cubed? 2 cubed is just simply... 2 cubed is just simply 8. Remember, 2 cubed is equal to 2 times 2 times 2. Okay? And then, Z raised to 7 cubed, it should have a parenthesis here. How you will evaluate that is you will multiply the exponents. 7 times 3, the answer is z raised to 21. Okay, next example. So, we will have, um, say, 4x squared times 3x cubed, we have raised to 4. So, again, what do we do? We evaluate first the numbers inside. Numbers to numbers, letters to letters. 4 times 3 is 12. x squared times x cubed. Add the exponent, x raised to 5, and you will have still the exponent outside. So, what do you do? Distribute. Wag kang madamot, ipamigay mo sa lahat. So, what would happen would be, you will have 12 raised to 4, and you will have 5, x raised to 5 raised to 4, right? And in this case, you multiply. But the 12 raised to 4 will give you, it's a little big, it's 20,736, x raised to multiply x raised to 20. And that's how you do it. Just simply apply the loss of exponent being product rule, add the exponent, and of course, power of a power. Ganun lang. Okay? So, um, say we have another example. Okay, so our next examples would be about um, fractions now, or division. So, for example, we have um, x... Um, squared over x cubed. So, how do we um, evaluate this one? We evaluate this one by just simply subtracting the exponent. So, if you are multiplying, you will add, right? But if you are dividing, you will subtract. So, this would be, of course, um, 2 times 3, dito is x raised to 6. But in this case, I, I mean, add pala yan. So, x raised to 5. In this case, 2 minus 3, the answer is negative 1. Okay? And of course, we are not allowed to have for, um, negative exponents. So, what we do is, we just simply reverse the position. So, ito ay nasa taas, nasa numerator. So, what would happen would be, it would be on the 
denominator. So this would be 1 over x. Or to simply put these cases, say we have our next example being um, a cubed b raised to 5 over a squared and we have b raised to 7. So what happens here? Okay, kung nasan yung pinakamalaki, dun mo siya ilalagay. So, 3 minus 2, the answer is 1. Okay? And saan siya ilalagay? Taas, baba. Sa taas. Because our um, larger, larger variable with the... Our larger term with the larger exponent pala. Ayan. A variable with the largest exponent. Ayan. That is where you will place your answer. So, that would be a raised to 1. Sa taas. And in this case, hindi natin isusulat yung 1. Okay, and then on the other hand, we have 5 and 7 for the b. 7 minus 5, the answer is 2. Where will I place that? I will place it on the denominator because b raised to 7 is the larger um, exponent. So b squared. And that would be it. Okay? And that's how you evaluate your um, integral exponents. Okay? So same goes if we would have um, terms, um, numerical coefficients. I mean. So we have 2c cubed. We have um, 4 c cube. In this case, how do we evaluate this one? We just simply evaluate the numbers as is and one, uh, 2 over 4 is simply 1 half. Okay? And then we have c cube, c cube, 3 minus 3, the answer is 0, so therefore it's just simply cancelled out. Or this is your final answer. Okay? And uh, next one, even if you will have um, even if you will have uh, multiple exponents, say I have a squared, b raised to negative 3, c squared, all over um, a raised to negative 2, b raised to negative 3, and c raised to 5. First things first, change the signs of the exponent. Iangat niyo yung dapat iangat, ibaba niyo yung dapat ibaba. In this case, the a squared should be up here. So you will have a squared, a squared. Pagtabihin niyo lang sila, it's okay. Then we will have this one, this b cube should be down and this b cube should be up. Or in this case, you will notice they are the same, right? b cube and b cube. If I have 6 divided by 6, the answer is 1. The same concept applies. If I have negative 6 over negative 6, it will still be 1. So this would be cancelled out. So b will be gone. Okay? And we will have this c squared over c raised to 5. We can subtract this one immediately. It will give us c cube. Kasi 5 minus 2 is 3 and what would happen would be 3 would be on the larger, on the side of the larger exponent. So you will have c cube here sa baba. And lastly, we'll have a squared, a squared is a raised to 4 c cube. And um, again, let's just discuss our final type, uh, I mean uh, final example na easy lang. In any case that you will have multiple exponents, simply multiply them together. Okay? And these are just some examples of how you will evaluate your integral exponents. Okay? So that would be all. If you would have any other questions, um, you can refer to the video or you can look for ways on how to evaluate on the loss of exponent. Because what basically happens here is we are applying multiple loss of exponents. Okay? on different ways that you would want to. So that would be all. Um, if you don't have any other questions, um, uh, if you have any other questions, you can chat me in our group. Okay? And that would be all again. Thank you everyone for listening and Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.